Bonjour, j'espère que vous allez très bien. In this part 5, dans cette partie 5, we are going to see how to ask where in French. Where is où in French? But let's see how to use it. First, the est-ce que question form. Est-ce que? So, for example, the present tense of this question, where are you going? In French, with est-ce que, you will say, où est-ce que tu vas? Où est-ce que tu vas? is a possible translation of where are you going using the est-ce que uh, question est-ce que you remember is invariable so present uh, plural future past it's always the same expression est-ce que où est-ce que tu vas où est-ce que tu vas if you want now a past example where did you leave where did you leave well in french it will be où est-ce que tu es parti? Où est-ce que tu es parti? But when we speak, as you can hear, there, there are some contractions. Où est-ce que tu es parti? Tu es, here, becomes t'es, when you speak uh, normally. T'es parti. Où est-ce que tu es parti? A future example, where will you live? Où est-ce que tu partiras? Où est-ce que tu partiras? And if you want now to know... This uh, kind of question is from, where are you from? So where are you from? In French, we say, from where are you? So the question with est-ce que is, d'où est-ce que tu es? So from is de, but here before a voil, we say a d apostrophe. So d'où est-ce que tu es? D'où est-ce que tu es? Where are you from? Let's see now the in an inversion. The inversion, where are you going? With the same, of course, uh, question, so present tense. Où vas-tu? As you can see here, the subject to, who was previously before, just in our um, uh, affirmative uh, sentence. So now it's just after the verb. So it's an inversion. And we say, où vas-tu? It's a second way to say, where are you going in French? Où vas-tu? The past question, where did you leave? Où es-tu parti? Où es-tu parti? And of course, if you are a girl, a girl is speaking, you will add an E, an E just for uh, writing, actually, as you don't uh, say it. Où es-tu parti? The future. Where will you live? Où partiras-tu? Où partiras-tu? And uh, with from, where are you from? D'où es-tu? D'où es-tu? And the inversion between the verb to be and the subject to. Do it to. Let's see now some colloquial questions. Very common when we speak in French. Where are you going? So in French you say tu vas où? So you remember we put the question at the end of a sentence and you up your voice and it's a question. Tu vas où? Hey, tu vas où? The past. Uh, T'es parti où? Hey, T'es parti où là? The future, tu partiras où? Demain, tu partiras où? Okay? And again, with from, where are you from? T'es d'où? T'es d'où, uh, mon ami? T'es d'où, là? So, where are you from? And of course, a contraction between tu and a. T'es d'où? Okay? Some expressions now that you can't uh, translate. Uh, Uh, word for word from English into French. So, where were we? So, for example, you were in a conversation and somebody or something interrupt you. So, after the interruption, you can say, where were we? In French, où en étions-nous? Mm, où en étions-nous? Or you can say, where uh, was I? And où en étais-je? In this case, We use the imparfait. We don't use le passé composé to translate where here. We use the imparfait. Où en étions-nous? Which way should I go? Which way should I go? Well, in this question in English, there is no where. But in French, we are going to say this way. Par où devrais-je passer? Par où devrais-je passer? Which way should I go? Par où devrais-je passer? How far is he going? How far is he going? Well, how far is jusqu'où? Jusqu'où va-t-il? How far is he going? Jusqu'où va-t-il? Okay? 
and you remember here that we need our euphonic T between the two vowels just to improve the pronunciation. Où jusqu'où va-t-il? So here are some expressions that are useful. You need to know to be sure you'll be able to translate which way, for example, par où or how far, jusqu'où. Ok? Allez, c'est fini. Alors, au revoir et bon français.